Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is Michael Dotterer, and you're on the dot. And we have a great show for you today, as you can see behind me. This amazing backdrop with uh, this uh, wonderful company called To Be Kind and Anasia. We have uh, two special guests who I'm going to be bringing on in a few minutes. Um, and uh, before we we bring them on, uh, I want to. We always like to start off uh, on the dot with uh, <clears throat> with birthdays, and I want to wish. Uh, my grandmother, Lydia Zelizniak-Bukovic, she would have been 106 today, my grandmother. So happy birthday to my grandmother, who is out uh, up uh, wherever we, uh, wherever you are in heaven. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to my good friend, Stanford, uh, fellow Stanford graduate, Joel Tressman. Uh, he's the founder of Wealth to Wisdom, and we definitely want to share to be kind and Anasia with um, with Joel. So Joel, I'll be sending you a link to this uh, recording. Happy birthday to my good friend and amazing basketball coach from St. Mary's College in California, Randy Bennett. Happy birthday, coach, and thanks for uh, getting the Gales in the into the um, March Madness and uh, as you march toward the Final Four someday. Uh, also, happy birthday to Stepan Taylor, a great running back from Stanford. Happy birthday, Stepan. And the, the great uh, announcer, Dick Vitell. It's his birthday today. And a man who's been in the news uh, because of his um, very, uh, I guess, uh, uh, popular, I guess, you know, well, I don't know if it's popular, but uh, he went through a, a court uh, a difficulty with his uh, ex. It's Johnny Depp's birthday today. So happy birthday, Johnny. And happy birthday to a, a fellow Canadian actor, um, uh, Michael J. Fox. It's his birthday today. And also a graduate from uh, Syracuse University, one of the great film directors, screenwriters. It's Aaron Sorkin's birthday today. And then finally, Dave Parker, who inspired me, one of the great uh, Major League Baseball players. Uh, he was uh, played for the Pittsburgh Pirates and uh, just a great player. Uh, happy birthday, Dave. So with that, um, I just want to say I'm so excited because I have my my class classmate from Stanford. Um, he's truly a genius. He grew up in Oklahoma. He's going to share his story. Um, he studied biochemistry, and he's been working on this formulation and this concept to, to be kind for years. And I'm going to bring him on along with his good friend, Gary Russ, who uh, Gary's been using the product and he's going to share his background and his story and how Anasia has made a huge change in his life. And I'll just say, I used the product this morning for the first time, uh, this new formulation, and I put it on my back because my back's been really hurting and it was immediate. It's an amazing, amazing product. So with that, I'm going to bring him on, and uh, here we go. This is the first time we've brought on two guests. Usually, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. So let me bring on, uh, there's John. Hi, John. Good morning. And hello. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, John. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you so there's much, Gary. gentlemen. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on. And you know what? I, I guess we got to start with uh, John, because John... We wouldn't be on this if it weren't for you. You're the founder and formulator of Anasia, and the, you came up with To Be Kind. So why don't you share with everyone your background? Well, thank you so much, uh, Michael. It's really a pleasure to be with you. I'm really uh, super happy to be here with my friend Gary as well. Uh, my main job here to begin with is I need to draw a, kind of a, a – some hard lines on where we are with the project. We have launched the Anasia Massage Oil and Soap, which are amazing products. They are under cosmetic regulations. And so we are uh, on those products that we're currently selling. They are um, only making cosmetic claims. They're great for your skin and they'll moisturize and protect. However, our formulations are similar and we're moving toward a product that will release this summer that will be over-the-counter drug with pre-approved ingredients. And we're having the type of efficacy that we need to go ahead and move into uh, clinical trials with our product. So that's where Gary's uh, story is going to come in. We've, 
we've launched our massage oil and soap as cosmetics. Uh, this summer we'll be launching the OTC. Uh, his, his story relates to that, uh, the over-the-counter drug for, uh, as a topical analgesic for pain management. And uh, then we're going to proceed. We've had such good efficacy. We're going to proceed with clinical testing. Uh, some of these things may pan out to develop full prescription medications. So I want to start with that. And um, we've got our uh, soap and, and oil out, and they are helping people tremendously. The massage oil is wonderful. Any place that you might need a massage, it seems to be very effective. But um, in that, uh, let me tell you a little of my history uh, as it pertains to the development of our current cosmetic products and our future aspirations with um, medications. So I played football, as you know, I was a fullback like you, Michael, and I was the point with my knees after five surgeries where I couldn't run, I couldn't even jog. And so I started playing with plants, which was my, my history. I'd won the International Science and Engineering Fair in biochemistry before I came to Stanford and uh, met you and all of our other friends. Uh, so that was kind of my, my interest and field of expertise, particularly following up on plants that have, from an ethnobotany point of view, been used traditionally um, in various healing aspects so that we could get the most out of what we already know. So I um, started using this one product that I developed uh, for about two weeks. And after about two months, I could run again. And that's when I knew we were really on to something. Um, a lot of the chemistry and development in that product is also in our current products, our current cosmetic products. So we're going ahead and, and pursuing our research with pain management and more effective healing products that will be classified as drugs. And that's where Gary Russ came into my life. My old business coach had one of my formulas. She gave it to Gary and uh, Gary started using it. He's a member of the local Del Webb or he lives in the local Del Webb up in Lincoln. And he was a really active guy, but he'd had this amazing thing happen to him that uh, left him in a challenged position in life. So he's he's been working with the product that we'll be rolling out as the topical analgesic. And I'd just love for him to share with you some about his experiences, um, where he's come from and what our products have been able to do for him. And uh, we would love to... Uh, be able to help as many people as uh, people as well as it's helped uh, Gary. So, Gary, give us a little background about your your injury and history and what's happened lately since you've been using our products. Okay, thanks, John. Um, I grew up in, in Santa Rosa, California, and um, played a lot of sports, but more just backyard sports because um, my parents loved to go motorcycle riding and water skiing. That's kind of what I grew up. So as far as I played one year of football, I played lacrosse, I played broom ball, a lot of different things. I just always loved sports. Unfortunately, I've never been fantastic at them, but I find that that's a blessing later in life because people that were fantastic don't want to play them anymore because they can't live up to their expectation. But anyways, that's another story. Um, and uh, about nine years ago, June 21st, I was on my way home from work, actually on my way to the gym, and um, I was riding my motorcycle, and I had a Cadillac Escalade pull out left in front of me on a country road, and uh, I don't remember the next four days. And uh, fortunately, I was kind of a gym rat at the time, and uh, the doctor decided to keep my leg. Normally, it would just be amputated right, right around the hip area and so it was a blessing there I had a, it was in a really good spiritual place in my life a matter of fact at the time I knew the um, the MT in the ambulance that was taking me to Roseville they couldn't handle me at the hospital I was in and uh, he kept saying that you were telling me you needed to go hand out water for the church tonight and he goes I don't think you're doing that tonight so um, I just I feel there's so many miracles that I got to keep my leg and so many people that were praying for me. I found out there was thousands of people 
And so um, and my life just keeps having all these blessings. And so a few months back, I happened to meet um, who John was talking about, Linda. And I was telling her about my injury and, and um, what had happened and what my leg's like. And, and she goes, oh, one of the my people I'm job coaching has this business he's starting and he's got this product. And she had some and she, she um, gave me a bottle of it. And I slathered it all on and I went to play one of my softball games. And I was playing out in the outfield and usually I pitch because I can't move real well. And I happened to be playing the outfield. All of a sudden, I'm tracking balls down and run, outrunning some people. I was going, wow, I have mobility. And um, it was just amazing. You know, the, the thing I noticed about this product is not only is my pain going away, but I have mobility that I didn't have before using the product. And um, I used to be able to lift my right leg maybe about six inches off the ground. Now I have full mobility. and. Um, I used to trip around things around my house sometimes, fall just on the, because I've dragged that leg. Um, I have a lot of numbness from the knee down. And um, so it's really changed my life. And people that I play softball, I was at a practice on a Saturday and, and from people from all kinds of different teams. We have nine teams. And people started going, where did the 20-year-old Gary come from? I was playing yeah. shortstop and playing some other positions and I had lateral movement I never had before. And, I'm hitting the ball better. Um, I'm working with a good friend of mine right now. We're going on a golf trip and next week to Mesquite, Nevada, and he's trying to get me to get through the ball because of my hip issues. Um, it's hard to turn, but I'm able to actually rotate through the ball um, or through through my swing plane. And uh, I do have to go home and put some anesthesia on afterwards. But um, I'd like to share some of the... Um, photos of my injury so people know so if, if uh anybody that's watching has heard about tiger woods and i don't know if that's clear that's in my hip right there and that's all the metal right in my hip but tiger woods injuries are a portion of what i have and whoops i lost it and uh there's the break on my tibia like tiger had three of those mine were one on my tibia and I had, that's the metal in my, in my, I don't know where the camera is. Anyways, in my tibia. And then we go up and that's going down the tibia like tiger. That's what my foot used to do on a daily basis. And uh, anyways, that's my femurs crushed and gone. It's really hard to get. I think I had that better on here. But um, anyways. A lot of metal in me. And when I hear Tiger talking about his story after his golf and what he does, and I had a lot of those same issues. And um, now I'm not having that problem. It's taken the, the inflammation away. It seems to have a long lasting effect on me. I'm not putting it on on a daily basis. I first started putting it on twice a day, just like John recommended. And um, now I'm not, if I'm playing sports, I definitely put it on before I go play. But if I'm not playing sports that day, I'm not putting it on and I still have a leg that feels a lot better. I used to take probably about four to six ibuprofen before I go play anything. Now I'm not taking any ibuprofen. Unfortunately, about five years ago, my girlfriend got me off of taking Norco because I was taking that. And she goes, do you really need it? And so I quit and went to ibuprofen. But um, it's just a miracle to not have to take any medicine that could, you know, hurt my kidneys or livers or anything. So I'm just very blessed that I've um, met John and that I'm getting to use this product. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's truly a blessing. And uh, thank you, you know, Gary. That's 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 amazing. I one of the main things about Gary that I find so incredible is his injury was nine years old. It wasn't just that they were going to take his leg off and we're able to save it and everything, but this is, uh, I'm just amazed that we're able to go in with the power of these plants and achieve um, such great results on, on an injury that's nine years old. We just, uh, Alex Chomp just had a buddy that has an ankle blown out 
that's seven years old. He's having the same experience. And my buddy Dave Schneider has a motorcycle accident that's 30 years old. And he's having a very similar experience as well. So I'm excited that the antifungal effects seem to be going in and, and really having a huge impact on, on old injuries. So our, our, our products that are coming up are really uh, hitting an amazing level of efficacy. And like I say, we'll have those out over the, you know, over the counter pre-approved topical analgesic form uh, this summer, but then we're going on to clinical testing because this is just, uh, it's beyond my wildest dreams and imagination that we're getting this kind of impact. And if we can affect uh, more people's lives like Gary's, I, you know, I'm all in. That's what we're all about. Yeah, we're, we're definitely all in. And, uh, you know, I want to mention uh, at, your, at the website, if, if people are interested in learning more about To Be Kind and this amazing product, Anacea, you'll see down below there's a little ticker tape. It's, it's www. the number two and the letter B and then K-I-N-D, tobekind.com. And when you go there, I, was, I, I went and visited it again this morning after I put, put on the, uh, the massage oil, the anesthesia massage oil that went on. And I love what you, you've said here, your vision, uh, Gary, the two things that jumped out. There's nothing more satisfying than helping someone. That seems like the mission for To Be Kind. And with this anesthesia product, I love what you said, being an active microbe manager. All of us need to be active microbe managers. And I would suspect less than 1% of the population understands what that means. So could you share with what that means so that the lay sure. person understand? Yeah. Um, well, there's some great research going on lately, lately about microbiome. And Bonnie Bassler's research has shown that we have 10 times more microbes living in and on us then we have human cells in our bodies. So if you're not managing your microbes, they're basically managing you. Uh, we're really just breaking into this field since uh, 2016. A lot of the efforts from the human, bio, uh, human genome project shifted over to the human microbiome project. And we're starting to learn the interrelationships between the microbes and people. So in my research, uh, what I studied at Stanford was coevolution and the population biology department. And it seems that things like fungus, certain microbes are really super old. And then land plants came along before mammals. So plants have developed a lot of biochemical ways to deal with microbes for hundreds of millions of years before mammals were even here. And so they're kind of like our allies and they have a lot of keys and a lot of answers for us when we're dealing with our microbes. So that's the the basic uh, kind of background of the, the science and, and what we're uh, focusing on as we're developing these projects. And then it ends up, there's a lot of historical information from the spice routes and all kinds of traditional plant uses that give us some clues and give us some areas to look at first. And so that's basically all we've done and we, we use the traditional ethnobotany as our clue. And then we try and do as deep a dive as we can on the actual biochemistry and understanding the mechanisms and molecules within those plants. So that's, that's basically what we're up to. And 50% of people over 50 have chronic pain from some sort of, of issue. And so I'm just really uh, so excited to be working with Gary because he's in Adele Webb and he's been able to just be a wonderful testament uh, as to how the products can help people. I mean, our seniors are the people who have the most experience, the most wisdom, the most to give. And, uh, you know, so many of the answers and so much to the experience in life. And if we can develop a situation where we can bring back some of the youth, take away the pain so that they're free to think about and, and work on things that matter instead of just trying to avoid their pain all day, then I think we as a society can be uh, 
just eons ahead of where we would be without the wisdom of our seniors. So we're, we're really excited to have a focus on the senior population, to be able to uh, be working on alleviating their pain with our, our future products, and to just be, you know, I've spent half my life trying to recover from football, but if I can share some of that with other people that are trying to recover from similar things, uh, it just, it gives some meaning to my life and it gives life back to people. So that's kind of what we're all about. Well, couple more, a couple more things I'd like to share that John just brought up that kind of reminded me, but in the senior community, I'm playing softball with, there's two guys, well, one's turning 90 next week. One is 90. As a matter of fact, he uh, hit the, the run that tied our game the other day against us, so that wasn't good since I managed my team. Um, one of the other people on my team one day came to me and he says, oh, Gary, I don't know how I'm going to do. My back's hurting right now, my lower back, and I, I gave him some of this. The anesthesia, and I, I said, go to the bathroom, put some on your back, see if it helps. Third inning, I asked him how his back was doing. He goes, I don't have any more pain. And that's what I've experienced for myself, even on my back, my shoulder. One thing I was sharing before Mike, before we got on, is um, I put it on my hand, my hamstrings, my quads, before I go play anything. And it's almost like you stretched. I feel like afterwards, I don't know what it's doing, but it's just loosening everything up. Um, I had another person on my team that had pulled um, a hamstring and he, he let him have some he started putting it on it helped him out he's back playing um it's just doing a miracle you know miracles and one gentleman that um i gave some to he actually um started telling people that you need to go see gary he has a miracle potion and so that's kind of the what we've been getting the feedback up here like i say it's a it's a, a group of, uh, I love living here and there's people from, it's a 55 and over community. The youngest person on my team is 58. And then I have some up in their upper seventies and you got anything and they're all athletes. They're playing, they might go from pickleball to softball to golf all in the same day. And then we have dances like this Friday night, we're having a queen cover band playing and they'll all be out there dancing and having a great time. So. It is a community, like John was saying, that um, of active people, and it's it's the '60s and '70s, you know, raised in the '60s and '70s group, and it is interesting that um, they're most of them are a little more, you know, they're um, they'll try different things, but not all. But yeah, this product has been just a blessing in my life because I get to do things. I was doing it before, but I had more pain. And I did not have the mobility. And the biggest seller of this product is people watching me and seeing how I moved before and seeing how I'm moving now. And they're just amazing. It doesn't look like the same person. And so that makes me feel good. <laughs> well, that just makes me so happy because that's the whole point of everything I'm trying to do. And, uh, and speaking of seniors, I really appreciate your uh, shout out it would have been your mother's 106th birthday and I have to, uh, so I, it's not her birthday, but I've got to bring up our CFO and his mom. <laughs> We've got a friend, Gary Terrell, that some people know because he's the trombone player that was run over in the end zone during the play, but he's currently down visiting his mom, uh, Gladys, and she is 104 years old and still driving <laughs> so we have to give uh, a shout out to gladys because she's an inspiration to us all and if we can help help other seniors be that happy at that age that's what we're into that's what we're for well and that as you said again i, I reiterate there's nothing more satisfying than helping uh, a friend or someone even a stranger so that's what to be kind is all about and anacea as we all heard from Gary, and uh, and I'm experiencing it today with my back. It's truly an amazing product, and um, and I'm going to order the I'm going to go online today and order the soap because uh, I I I love the traditional soap, so I can't wait to go to 
again, you just down below, just go to the website, www.tobekind.com, and you can order the Anacea uh, massage oil, which I have right here, and you can order the soap. And um, and I don't know what the shipping, uh, how long it takes, but uh, can they ship anywhere in the United States? Uh, we get them in. We get them in the mail pretty quick. There are a couple of states that are uh, that are a little uptight about CBD, so there are a couple of states that we don't send to. But um, but yeah, they can order it. Although the back end of the website is being fixed this weekend, so I don't think it's going to work until Monday. <laughs> okay. So, we're so they have to hold off. You can hold off till Monday. So hold that's till Monday. Uh, you're right. And Monday, what's the so day? We get them in the mail. We get them in the mail pretty quick. We're just now starting our new fulfillment warehouse, and they um, they fulfill orders next day. So uh, yeah, we get it going pretty quick. Well, as you guys both know, I, I, John, I mentioned to Gary before you got on, on the dot, we love that you get the last word. And, you know, if anyone is watching John, it sounds like, it looks like for whatever reason, John, you're talking from Mars because there's a little delay, uh, latency, I think that's what they call it, but, but it's no problem. I mean, we are definitely going to Mars and beyond with this amazing product, Anacea. So John and Gary, you guys get the last word. I'm going to uh, just sign off uh, again and thank both of you for, for helping so many people and, and putting together an amazing uh, product that is, is going to, I think, transform a lot of the pain um, treatments out there. So thank you. And uh, again, welcome to, to being on the dot and uh, you guys get the last word. Well, I, um, I, I, I know at the end of the show, you like to think about forward things or what we would have to say. And, and the main thing that I would have to say is this project's been great for me because in a world where there's been a lot of turmoil, there's been a lot of division and misinformation and stuff and a lot of forces trying to get us tied into competition with each other and, uh, you know, not really knowing what we're doing. This project has been a way for me to personally try and do good in the world. And I would just encourage everyone to try and, you know, cut through the chatter, cut through the static and remember what you can do to help other people and do it. So we like to say, remember to be kind, choose to be kind. It feels good to be kind. So that's, that's my last word. You got anything to say, Gary? Sure. Thanks. Thanks again, Mike, for having us on, John. Um, I just want to emphasize to people out there, if they order this product, one thing John let me know was put it on twice a day for two weeks. And I've noticed that when I am letting friends know about it and I ask them how they're, and they're liking it and they go, oh, I just put some on today. And I go, you haven't been putting it on because it really that's when it has its best effect. It will, as Mike said earlier, he put some on his back and it, um, he already noticed that it relieved the pain. But if you want to get into the deeper issues and, and John talks way above my head, I drove a truck for a living. And so I don't understand all the background of it, but I do know that it's healing me inside. It's not, you know, it's not something that's temporary is what I'm finding. And, um, it's just a, it's a fantastic product and I'm not a salesman, but I'm very excited about this because it's helping me. I want to see it help other people. And like John said, being in this world right now, especially is being positive and helping others and, and helping others have a good life. And, you know, on a daily basis, what I try to do here where I live is, um, bring a smile to people's face when I'm out and about. And I've actually had a lot of people say that that's what I do and, and that's how they know me and, and um, makes, makes it a better world. And when I don't have the pain, it's a lot easier to do that. And I just appreciate being on here and appreciate John coming up with this. Thanks, John. Thank you, Gary. It's been amazing to, to meet you. You're an amazing person. And I'm really glad you're part of my life. Thanks. And thank you, Michael. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.